see if I can get this thing going. You guys hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, Dojo. Listen to this music now. This is not from last week's heavy metal show that we did, which was really cool. This is our good buddy Max Rocket, who sent me this uh, jam he was doing on a guitar, and I thought it was really cool, so I thought I'd open the show with it tonight. Max can really play. He's awesome. And since we did that heavy metal show last week, but hey, this would be perfect. Hey, I wish you guys could have been at that show. Because if you listen to the... I listened to the show back. I watched it back. And it sounds like that band, Core Zero, was playing like on cardboard boxes. But in reality, it was it was awesome. I mean, I'm not a heavy metal guy myself. I'm more into like uh, punk rock stuff and ska and everything. But they were good. They were really good. And I, I wish you guys could have heard it. So uh, anyways, it was a fun show. So thanks to uh, Max Rocket for uh, sending his in his little uh, his jamming on his guitar. We love Max. He's a he's a dojo legend, dojo hall of famer. And speaking of dojo hall of famers, we have our good buddy DeFord. He's gonna help me co he's gonna co-host the show tonight. What's up, brother? Welcome to Smoke Night Live. Hey Eric, how you doing? It's great to be here again. Looking forward to a a, a great show this night. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna actually uh, in a little while here, we're gonna compare a couple beers that you emailed or emailed me that you mailed me, and uh, I wish you could email beer and, that you mailed me. We're gonna compare the um, well. I'll talk about that later. Uh, before we get into that, uh, we got our good buddy Robbie from Cigar Federation. Robbie, welcome back to the show. Thanks for taking some time and uh, and joining us tonight. I appreciate it. We always appreciate the invite. <clears throat> appreciate the invite, uh, Master Sensei. Yeah, you know, uh, you you actually look like you came prepared. You know, the last time uh, Logan was on the show, it looked like he just rolled out of somebody's attic or something. You know, he had like <laughs> the hair was all crazy and and stuff. But he had some really cool deals for the dojo community. And I know we've been enjoying. I know a lot of the dojo people buy from you guys now because I always see them. Showing their, uh, you know, they'll get the package in the mail and they'll post the picture on the app, and they're all excited. They love uh, you guys offer great customer service. You always put something special and extra in there. So, uh, what do you got for the dojo community tonight, Robbie? Well, let's. I want to start off by saying, yeah, Logan always looks like that. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure what his deal is, but that's that's that's, so that's kind of normal. His yeah, that's his M.O. It's just, He always looks like he just woke up, but not like woke up out of bed, but woke up <laughs> on like a park bench or something. Okay. I don't know. That's that's just his style. But um, anyway, yeah, we have been uh, – we've had a lot of guys come over from the dojo uh, supporting the store, so we really do appreciate that uh, for sure. Um, just a reminder that you guys got, um, you know, through the end of the month, I believe, 10% uh, <clears throat> off all your purchases. Dojo 10 is the code that you want to use. Uh, just a few things that we got that's new. Um, I don't want to sound too QVC-ish, but we've got some pretty cool stuff in. Uh, the new uh, Senorial from Jose Blanco, uh, we've got that in stock. One of the, not too Have many places online. Yet? I, you know, I just got mine in the mail yesterday. I haven't smoked it yet. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna have a uh, <clears throat> a group review up in a couple of weeks. I've heard uh, from some, uh, from some good sources that it's, that it's a pretty good cigar. It's stronger than most of the stuff that Jose has, uh, produced in the past. Um, more of a medium full, uh, to a full body cigar, full strength. Um, but I'm excited. We had Jose on a uh, cigar chat a couple weeks back and, um, I know you've, you've met Jose and talked with him and he's just a wealth of knowledge, but, uh, yeah. just to listen to him talk about this cigar, he's so excited. Uh, it's hard to not get excited about it. So, um, so I'm excited. I'm happy that we're able to uh, to carry it. Um, I know they're focusing mainly on uh, B and M's, but uh, through our relationship with uh, Delaware Cigar, we're able to uh, to offer it uh, to you guys. So um, what we've got what cigar. Is that so? People that aren't familiar with it uh, would know what they're buying. Well, it's um, you know I'll give you the kind of the specs on it. <clears throat> it's got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, which I am uh, I'm really fond of that wrapper. I don't know what it is about it. Me too. It's, I agree. It's just there's something there's a flavor in there that's hard for me to put a to put a finger on that I really do enjoy. Um, Nicaraguan binder Esteli, uh, and it's got uh, Dominican uh, Piloto Cubano 
filler along with uh, Dominican Corojo. So <clears throat> it's got some interesting combinations of flavors, rich, full flavors, full body. Um, but again, I haven't smoked it, so I can't talk too much about the, the flavor profile of it. Um, but, uh, you know, people are, are enjoying it. You definitely see a lot of people. I don't know if folks are posting it up on the dojo. I haven't seen too many photos, but um, lots of photos up on Instagram, things like that. So uh, <clears throat> so that's, ex that's one of the things that we're excited about. Um, another thing that we just... Uh, we just brought in our first uh, uh, factory direct boutique. Now, one of the reason, the thing behind that is, we've got all these boutique cigars, and everything that comes out is, you know, nine, ten, eleven dollars. That's what we're seeing for a, for a boutique quality cigar these days. Um, we're uh, reaching out to a few different manufacturers and kind of stripping off all the bells and whistles, no bands, no boxes, uh, cutting out all those prices to give uh, give the customers something that's great quality. Um, and at a cheaper price point. Uh, the first one we've got is the Project 7 <clears throat> from Noel Rojas. It's actually what I'm smoking right now. I mean, I'll, I'll show it to you, but it's not gonna, you're not going to get too much out of seeing it. But um, this is a real nice smoke for the price point that you're looking at. I think they're like, well, let me see, the price on these, 25 bucks for a five-pack. We got them in 15-count mezzos for 59 That's pretty it's, good. Uh, he makes yeah, great stick. Everything that I've ever had from him is really good. I mean, the yeah. guy yeah. can, and uh, he does the Hermosa, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I mean, I love that guy. So this is Project 7, and this is exclusive to uh, your store? Correct. It's exclusive to, um, <clears throat> to store.cigarfederation.com. Uh, and it's the first one. You know, we, we, uh, it's something that we wanted to try. Um, I mean, we've tried a few different things. We're always open to doing new stuff, so... Um, Noel was open to working with us, and he produced a pretty good cigar, man. I'm smoking it right now, and um, the, the main flavor profile for me, uh, a lot of coffee notes in there, some pepper, uh, some woody notes. Kind of, it's, it's a little stronger than a cedar note, but real nice profile, uh, nice construction, good burn. I mean, you can see that's pretty straight. Um, and, I mean, for the price point, something like this is the kind of thing you can have in your humidor all the time. Um, yeah, and you can yeah. use that. You can use the dojo coupon on those as well. So, um, these types of things, you know, like I said, Noel's the first one that we worked with, and hopefully, uh, you know, in the, in the near future. I mean, these things have sold a lot better than I anticipated. It's. Uh, I knew the price point was important, but nobody smoked it. Nobody had reviewed it. There was no no information about it, and people were just buying it up. So, um, right now, it's not uh, it's not too limited, but I can see it getting there at some point. Uh, now, Robbie, I don't know if you want me to say this or not, but uh, before the show started, you told me that you had several boxes of La Polina and Mr. Sam still hanging around. Uh, I, through, we've got a we've got a few boxes. We don't have several, um, and these are the, the original release Mr. Sams in the robusto size. Uh, I know they they came out with the new sizes recently, but these are the original release. Um, looks like we've got. We've got some five packs, um, and we've got four ten count boxes available. Um, so, so, Jojo, listen right now. If you're watching the show right now, I would get over to store.cigarfederation.com and pick up those boxes of Mr. Sam. You can you can use your Dojo coupon on those. Is that correct, Robbie? Yep. Yeah, yeah okay. for sure. Ten percent off if you use Dojo ten coupon code Dojo ten, and those are a cigar that. Uh, once they're hard to get a hold of when they're not around. So uh, I mean that sounds silly, sure. but uh, <laughs> the, the point is, is you know uh, that's a tricky one to get. So when you find them in stock somewhere, you should gobble them up. So I recommend getting that. Maybe throw on a five pack of that uh, Project Seven, to test it out, see what you think of that guy too, right? The Project so, Seven, uh, it's pretty legit, man. Yeah. Go ahead. And you gotta tell us real quick. And thanks for coming on. Thanks for your time. Uh, tell us real quick about your Cigar of the Month Club. Oh, Cigar of the Month Club. Uh, I know we told you guys about it. Um, <clears throat> it's when we talked about it. I think when we when you had us on the show, you you were saying the same thing that, that most of us think when you talk about Cigar of the Month Club. You get one thing, one cigar in there that's got a, an insanely high MSRP, and then you know a few things that maybe you don't want to smoke. Um, we uh, we take a look. We take some serious pride in uh, in what we do with our Cigar of the Month Club. If you go check it out, you can see all the way back to, I think we've got all of them listed all the way back to the first month, so you can see the type of stuff that we've been including. 
Um, <clears throat> this month is this month we're actually yeah. doing something pretty cool. Um, we've got uh, from Victor Vitali with the Tortuga uh, 215 Reserva. He uh, is releasing at IPCPR uh, Coyote Negro, um, which is it's a it's a different blend. Let me pull up the blend information while I'm talking to you guys about it. But uh, the cool thing, Victor, we've had him on uh, Cigar Chat a few times, and he's uh, he, he's he's a fan of what we're doing. Um, and so he was nice enough to give us access to some of these and have our Cigar Club Cigar of the Month Club members be the first people to smoke it. This doesn't come out until IPCPR. It's not going to be in stores until August, and people are getting—they're shipping out now. So if you're one of your recurring, if you're one of the recurring members, you might have received your package already. Um, so that's one of the cool things that we're doing with that. I think what else are we featuring this month in the package is along with the Vitali stick, uh, Total Flame Nicaragua, uh, Liga Privada number nine. Um, Paul Stulock, Black Midnight Fire. Wow. He comes up with the best names for his cigars. Uh, and yes. uh, the Victor, Victor Vitali, as I said, and uh, Crowned Heads, uh, J.D. Howard Reserve. So um, nice. pretty legit lineup. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's not your typical uh, Cigar of the Month club offering. Not at all. That's all quality stuff there. And we've all got right, some cool stuff in the works for next month, too. Some cool stuff Appreciate for you coming month. on the show. Coupon code DOJO10. Thanks again for joining us. And, yeah, no, uh, I appreciate it. I, I, I'm sorry, I keep talking over you. Go ahead. <laughs> I think I've got a lag in the connection. Oh, no, that's okay. I was just, uh, I was just thanking you and uh, appreciate being on the show. And uh, next month, you guys will come back on. And we'll we'll have some other sort of special. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. One one last thing, because I know uh, this is something that everybody is always looking out for. Um, this month is it was probably like three weeks ago. We got um, so we got a few boxes of dirty rats, a few boxes of flying pigs, feral flying pigs, a few boxes of UF13s, and we didn't know we were going to get them. We just kind of got them. It just showed up that one day, and you know we sent out an email and they sold out in five minutes. Um, but word is we're going to be getting more of those coming down the line. So uh, one thing you can do if you go there, you click on them right now. That's going to say that they're sold out, but you'll get a little pop-up window. That'll say, hey, if you want, we're sold out for now, but if you want us to email you when they come back in stock, we will. And you can uh, put your email in there, and that way when any of them pop up, you'll be the first to know. So um, nice. I know everybody's well, looking for those Unicos, and from what I understand, we're going to get some more. So just something to keep an eye on. Awesome. We will do that, my friend. We'll see you next month. Thanks again. Cool, brother. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good show, and, uh, and yeah, I'll see you, uh, see you in Vegas. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll see you in Vegas, man. All right, guys. Sunday night, night at the big party. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. We'll be there. All, All right, right there you go. That's our good buddy Rob from the uh, Cigar Federation and uh, Mr. Sam's Project 7. You got their uh, Cigar of the Month. Those are good guys. That's the cool thing about dealing with uh, all the dojo partners that we have. We work real hard at getting guys and companies that, that we like and can get along with and that offer the sort of stuff you guys like. Because on the dojo, right, uh, John, we are uh, very uh, we're discriminating buyers. So uh, our good buddy DeFord is my co-host tonight. There he is. Uh, welcome to the show, DeFord. And, uh, hey, uh, so me and you are going to drink some beers tonight, right? Tell, tell everybody, uh, you sent me these two beers. I'm going to pour right now real quick. So what do I got oh. here? That's a I love you with my stout. <laughs> Evil twins. I love right, so you I'm with my stout. All right, and I'm going to compare this beer to uh, a local beer. This is a Colorado beer, the 1050. This is another uh, imperial stout here. So we'll do a little taste test. <clears throat> and uh, as the show is progressing, do you, you have those beers at the Fort too? Or are you drinking them too? I have them uh, right here, both of them. I'm pouring them as we speak. All right, so uh, now uh, the uh, Evil Twin, is that a California beer? No, that's, uh, darn, where are they from? Like the Netherlands, or I, I'm not sure on that one. They're not from California at all, though, so they're very hard to get here. Okay. So, well, I do know that it is uh, Colorado. Yes. So uh, let's pour some. 
And then as soon as I get done uh, pouring this, we're going to welcome Dean Parsons onto the show, and I'm going to fire up an epic cigar. And I think this is going to be a perfect pairing, um, this cigar and these beers. So, uh, wow, both of these are like super syrupy. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so here we go. This is the side-by-side. Can't really tell much. They they look identical, but they this look here is very. very do you know what I noticed? What did you notice? I do see that uh, Ten Fitty has a little bit more head to it, and it's a wow. little more orange. Man, uh, what was that? the evil twin is like um, teriyaki sauce. It, it's a lot. <laughs> It tastes a lot stronger, maybe even rougher, more charcoal. Okay, here's the tent fitty. Mm -hmm. Please. Teriyaki might not be a bad uh, description. I think they pour some of that liquid smoke in it or something because it's really, <laughs> really strong with the smoke. Yeah, the, the tent fitty is not nearly as sweet. Not nearly as no. sweet. No. Hey, yeah. Have you had this? Have you had this one? This is Evil Twin Yin. I have not had that one. That one yin and yang. I can't find. So. Yeah, they have Yin and Yang. Wow, these are. Uh, I'd say that the Evil Twin. I don't is know. Sweeter than the Ten Fifty. Yeah, I get a. I get a. I get a lot of the oak. And the smoke on that evil twin, and a wow, got a little more alcohol burn, I think, too, on the yeah, finish. That's good stuff. All right, so we'll drink those as we go. Uh, let's bring our uh, our main guests onto the show. I want to introduce to the dojo community uh, Dean Parsons. Dean, thank you for joining Smoke Night Live tonight, brother. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Um, it's raining here in the Dominican Republic. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you great. Yeah, perfect. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Great to see you both. And uh, we're going to meet face to face soon, but uh, great to meet tonight and uh, to be here, part of the show. I've got a, a buddy of mine here. Uh, I'll bring in here in a little bit, uh, Dave, David Z. He's uh, helped me with a lot of things with Epic, and he'll be with us at the show as well. And uh, we're just here on the patio in, uh, in Cabarete, Dominican Republic, about. Uh, an hour and ten minutes from uh, from Santiago from the factory, and uh, uh, just on the beach, uh, a little bit of rain coming down, and uh, we've got some beers going. Nothing, nothing nice like you have, but but <laughs> Presidente will uh, will do the job for us tonight. So, cheers, guys! Right on, <laughs> right on. Hey, so Dean, I've been bragging about you on the dojo uh, for weeks now, because when you you sent me some sticks through our, our mutual friend uh, Juan Cancel, and uh, I kept them in my humidor for a long time because I had a lot going on. And then it was like a couple months later, I said, "Hey, I gotta, I gotta smoke that stick. I've been wanting to smoke that stick," and I was totally blown away. Now tonight I'm smoking the uh, the uh, Maduro Reserva, but I smoked your other one first. So you can tell us a little bit about both sticks. Um, but super impressed, fantastic quality, lots of good complex flavors. Why don't you tell the dojo community a little bit about the two different offerings that you have while I cut and light this? So sounds great. Thanks so much, uh, Eric. We've got a, a couple different offerings. Um, obviously, we're getting ready for, for IPCPR this year in Vegas. Uh, in July, we're excited about that. It's going to be the first time. Um, so the Epic Maduro was, was the original blend, which came out uh, at the, the start of 2014. And we, we started to get that out to a few shops and, and smokers and getting, you know, obviously good feedback. Uh, and a lot of the feedback was, you know, was great flavors, but, you know, we're looking for a little more, a little more strength. And, and uh, so we took that same blend and tweaked it, changed the, changed the binder, and added a little more Lijero and and, uh, and some more Viso, and we uh, you know we've got the Epic Maduro Reserva. So there's a, there's a combination of good things going on there. We've got obviously Dominican fillers and binders, and uh, you know the Cameroon wrapper completely changes uh, changes that cigar and adds a lot a lot more flavor and complexity. 
and of course the Brazil wrapper is uh, is fantastic. Always gives good flavor, and uh, we've been working with that for that wrapper for a few years. And and Rolando uh, VML, who I work with here at Charles Moore Factory in Santiago, uh, just does wonders with that uh, that wrapper, and uh, we're excited about it. Uh, outside of the the Maduro, which you're smoking. We've got a Corojo Reserva and as well a new Habano that we'll be launching in uh, in, in Vegas. So, we've got three nice blends. Uh, they're all you know very complex Ooh, from excited. medium to full, and uh, we're excited to really get out there to the public and uh, and uh, get in shops and uh, and spread the word. So you're saying we'll be able to see that Habano in uh, in Vegas then, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I've actually, I'll I'll show you the new band. It's um, it's a similar band to the Maduro and the Corojo, but it's it's gold where where the band the Corojo and Maduro was silver. And uh, I've just got a buddy of mine grabbing it for me right now. But uh, it's it's awesome. I'm excited about it. And, and the great thing about being here in the Dominican Republic is when well, you're you know, working I'm on blends. What's that? Uh, he's he's a sucker for a good band. No, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Cool. Cool. But we're uh, yeah. what's great about yeah. and a good Habano. So. Oh, you are. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. I, look, I'm I'm really excited. I've always been more of a Maduro guy, and uh, and this Habano is is really got me excited. And uh, sometimes when you're when you're playing around and blending things, you never know what you're gonna end up with. And uh, and even you know months after when you uh, you know you put some blends together and you put them aside and, and they have time to progress and age, you uh, all of a sudden you, you go back into the humidor and you go holy shit this is uh, this is really good and uh, and that's kind of what's happened with the, the Habano blends. So we're excited about it. and more than that we're excited to be working uh, with you guys uh, and, uh, and the dojo community. Uh, how's the uh, how's the epic treating you oh, over yeah. there, brother? With your uh, with your two beers. Uh, it it well, is a perfect match for these. Beers. It is perfect. I love this band too, with the little red, like a flame on it, kind of there. It's really unique, very unique. Uh, you know what? I'm picking up kind of a sweet something sweet in here as well. That's I can't. I can't identify it yet, but I got a little. It's pretty nice. I like it so far. About halfway. Maybe I, I'm into the second third now. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Dean. It's, all been, it's been great. It's it's uh -huh. the Cameroon. The Cameroon binder. That's the kind of unique, right? I mean, that adds that. That might add a little bit of sweetness to the flavor, right? It does. It does indeed. And uh, it was something suggested to me uh, by a good friend and. Uh, when he suggested it originally, I thought, you know what? No, we've never done that, but you know, let's <laughs> give it a go. And it really, really blew me away, and, and turned out better than expected. So uh, we we ran with it, and uh, and uh, its the response is amazing. I mean, the original Maduro, I've gotten a great response as well. But for the guy that's looking for a little more, a little more complexity, a little more punch, it's it's brought exactly what that cigar was lacking, and. Uh, you know, you learn every day, and and you grow with the business, and you uh, you have to humble yourself, and then you know you get good, good feedback, you get negative feedback, you get some people that just ne you know don't like what you what you're producing, and some people that that uh, that love it. But um, you know, if if no one's complaining, uh, then then you're you're not doing anything. So um, and you've got to be open to change. So um, learning every day. Very well, good. I'll tell I'll tell folks uh, about this as I'm smoking it. Uh, one thing you're going to notice from all of the two different offerings that Dean has is both have incredible construction. I mean, we were blown away. I got some cigars from you, and I didn't the second on the second time around when we got these ones, the Maduro Reservas, and I just took one right out of the package that same day and smoked it, and it was incredible. A perfect burn the entire way, and, and we live in a really dry climate, and that. Sometimes it takes a while for cigars to acclimate to our climate, uh, so they don't burn as good. But man, your stuff's the the quality construction is really striking. How long have you been in the cigar biz? Tell us a little bit about that. Who, you know, the factory that you're that you're making these out of because it's impressive quality-wise. 
Well, we, um, I, I got into cigars. I mean, I've been smoking for probably almost 30 years. You know, started smoking cigars back in the, uh, you know, the early 2000s, or sorry, the early, uh, <laughs> early 90s. And uh, um, I moved uh, back in 2004 to Turks and Caicos Islands and on a real estate project. I moved there from Canada and uh, had a lot of clients that were flying in and out of there. And at that time, you, you, could, you couldn't get good cigars there at all. I mean, what you could get, a lot of it was counterfeit, and there were some Cubans, and there were some fake Cubans, and some fake Dominicans, and, and uh, after I got enough inquiries, I just, I flew, uh, in, in 2005, I flew to, uh, to Santiago for the first time, and I said, you know, I need to better educate myself on cigars, and I need to have, have an inventory of cigars available to my, uh, to my, you know, real estate clients that were flying in, and uh, so I started buying Davidoff's and, and Fuentes, and you know, the, the list is long, um, and after doing that for about six months to a year, I said, you know what, you know, I should be producing a cigar for these clients, they're, you know, they're, they're looking for something medium bodied, they, they want to have an experience, and, uh, and also the value of, of uh, you know, branding in, in the Turks and Caicos Islands, so I, I created a cigar in 2006, it was called the Turks Select Cigar, and I launched that in Turks and Caicos, and, uh, mm. And that was in all the hotels and resorts and the duty-free shops. And uh, I ran with that uh, through 2009. And after the economy uh, took a dump worldwide, uh, the projects that I was working with um, stopped. And we had, we had just finished our first hotel. We're starting a second one. And uh, everything just stopped. So I, uh, fortunate for me, I relocated to the Dominican Republic on another real estate project in January 2009. And, uh, you know, focused on that for about a year. And, you know, my passion being cigars, I said, you know, I need to focus my energies. I'm in cigar country. I'm, 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 in, I'm where I want to be, and I need to take advantage of, uh, of where I am. Right. And so I just started spending more time in the factory in Santiago and, and meeting with Rolando and, and working on blends. And kind of it started from there, really epic. And then obviously, you know, trademarking the name or dot-coming the name, trademarking it, and, uh, and going from there. So... Uh, it's it's been an exciting road. Good. Now, well, when you first went down, uh, you said you were buying buying other cigars for your clients. Did you have any idea that you were going to actually end up, you know, crafting your own and and starting the company and going that route? You know what? I didn't, and I took a I I took a trip to uh, the Bahamas um, as part of uh, you know doing some real real estate research throughout the Caribbean. And I had a dinner one night at the Great Cliffs Hotel in the Bahamas. Oh yes, yeah. Very and if you've ever been there and seen the uh, the old uh, the old jail and the wine cellar that they have there, and of course the experience when you walk into that that little boutique hotel and there's the old Cuban guy is rolling in the lobby and they've got the mini grand piano and the, the restaurant probably only has uh, maybe 30, 30 seats and it, it's an experience and uh, you know we had a beautiful dinner that night. And then the, uh, the the waiter came to the table in the nice jacket with the Chinese collar and said, "Gentlemen, would you like a would you like a, an after dinner cigar?" I said, "Of course." He said, "Would you you know medium, you know light, medium, full body?" And I said, "Full body, please." So you know the guy rolled the cigar right there for you in the lobby, and they, oh, wow. they came back to the table and they roasted it, you know, to take out the uh, the moist, the humidity in the cigar. And cut it and lit it for you. And I sat there, you know, for two hours and smoked a cigar. And then said, you know what? If they can make cigars in the Bahamas and, <laughs> and sell them worldwide, there's no reason I can't do the same thing in Turks and Caicos. And that that's really how uh, the Turks Select cigar was was born. And uh, um, not doing much with it now. After I relocated, it was difficult moving back and forth. And I really wanted to focus on creating and building a brand that I could take internationally. And uh, with a name like Epic, you know, that's uh, our, our goals are set on that, and uh, I'm excited to, to make that happen. Here's the, if you can see this, this is the new Habano band. Okay. So the, all the all the silver that's in the Maduro is is gold, and uh, it's got a gold and red uh, Habano, you know, secondary band. So yeah. really excited Tell about us that. What about that? Is, what what about the rest of that cigar uh, besides the? Uh, I mean, just give us the specs on that. that guy. That's top secret. <laughs> Can't oh. tell. You haven't said that. 
Okay. Darn, got a I was hoping to get a scoop on the show. <laughs> it's got a wrapper, filler, and binder. Right. And, uh, you can guess oh. what the wrapper is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You got right, so we'll find out in a month. Back, Eric, on the show to uh, to find out to find out about okay. uh, what's inside that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so tell folks where they can get your uh, cigars. Uh, you have a website, epiccigars.com, right? Epic but uh, if you wanted to buy, if you wanted to buy some epics, uh, where would you go? Right now, um, we've got a couple retailers in South Florida: uh, Havana Republic Cigars, which is in Fort Lauderdale on Las Olas Boulevard; uh, Companion Cigars, which is in Hialeah, uh, in the Miami area. Heath, who's a New Yorker, he's down there, a good friend of Juan Cancel's. Uh, he is selling a boatload of Epic cigars. We're shipping to him every two weeks. Our warehouse in Miami is close to him, so that makes it convenient. Uh, Sky Tobacco in New Jersey, Hoboken Cigars in New Jersey. Um, we've got some events coming up in both Florida and New Jersey in July and August. Um, and several other shops, and we're, we're, we're growing every week, so I need to update the list of uh, retailers. Um, Tamaco Cigars, uh, which is in, um, in uh, Pennsylvania, uh, they're waiting for shipment right now, which we'll get out this week, and uh, we're, we're growing, so it's exciting. We're, we're in the process of... Yeah. You got anything in California that I can grab? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. A sampler, a sampler from uh, Cigar Dojo. There you go. I'll take it. And we're uh, we're actually um, this week. I, I spoke with uh, Logan from Cigar Federation, and we're uh, we're looking at putting something together in, in the next uh, few weeks. Oh, uh, if not good. between now and Vegas, hopefully after Vegas. So at least so you know some people can access uh, some of the cigars. A sampler. Uh, online, but we're we're going to be expanding to uh, to California uh, after IPCPR, looking at, to establish some reps in that area. So it's uh, right now I'm a, I'm a I'm a one man show and uh, but growing and we're we're not in a hurry. Uh, we I get emails and inquiries every day. You know how can I get your cigars? Where can I get them? And we're, we're I'm getting out there as quick as I can, but really we're not in a rush and we want to. We want to find right retailers. We want to work with them in the right way, and want to be able to provide uh, quality cigars to them, and 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 grow, you know, grow the business one cigar, one box at a time. And, uh, I'm excited about that. Absolutely. Hey, hey Dean, uh, I I was really uh, I, the box that I got was a five pack. The first one I got from Juan Cancel. It was a really unique box, like flat black, um, and. Can you, is that the way they come when you get the five pack like that, or was that a special deal? Because that was a really, really cool presentation on that thing. You know That's what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course. We uh, we do that in a five and a ten pack box, and it's a limited edition box. So we're going to do you know several several thousand of those every year. Um, we have it on our price list uh, for retailers. It's a little bit more expensive. Those boxes are uh, you know fairly expensive to to produce. So sometimes it doesn't work out, you know, for some retailers as far as price per stick because it, it is a little, costs a little bit more. Um, but what you'll see, what you'll see mainly for our retailers is you're going to see a uh, a twenty count box, and this is a Corojo box, uh, which uh, the Corojo was graded ninety three with uh, with Smoke Magazine earlier this year. It's a nice twenty pack box, and. Um, and then the flat back black box, we also have it in, uh, the, this is a, our, my Maduro box, which is flat black, similar to the one you have, but it's a 20 count, a 20 count box. Gotcha. And we yeah, have that in three, three boxes, both, both, both blends, so. Uh, you know what, packaging and, and presentation is important, important to, to me and as a cigar smoker and, uh, and I think, you know, as a connoisseur, uh, people enjoy having nice, uh, nice packaging, and uh, it comes at a cost. But um, I think, uh, really, when you start to do big numbers, uh, they, you know, uh, things will work out. So. All right, you two. Yeah. Hey, uh, looking forward yeah. to getting a box of. I'm sorry. Go ahead, DeFord. What do you got? Just saying, I'm looking forward to getting a box of those. I'm, I'm loving this one. I'm about halfway into it now. I'm getting some, maybe some oak or leather or. Something along those lines, and that sweetness is there. I really like it. It's it's oh, a fabulous cigar. Really appreciate it. Thank you. We're uh, 
you know, it's it's those those are the kinds of things that we're hearing and uh, getting positive response from uh, from so many of the people that have a chance to smoke it. And uh, the, the more we get out there, and, and the more that we spread the word through through groups like Dojo and Cigar Federation and and uh, quality, you know, businesses that are doing good things, we'll we'll, we'll get there. So you're well on your way. Right, so you, hey, uh, we had this big contest this week, and uh, we're giving giving away uh, a bundle of these guys, 20 here, this 20-pack bundle, these are the Gordo, it's a, uh, oh, wow. this is like a big solid pack, pack. whoever gets this is going to like it, and then uh, two second place prizes, we'll each get five packs, we'll get a chime, but uh, we'll be giving away two of this, okay, Dean and DeFord? And then I'm gonna let Dean. You're gonna pick the grand prize of this, and then Ford, you can pick a second place prize. Whoever wins this, and then we'll let the dojo community pick the final winner. Another one of these uh, five packs. How does that sound? You guys with me? Sounds fantastic. Great. All right. Epic. All right. So I'm gonna show you That's guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm going to show the, uh, these aren't actual finalists, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when we get to the finalists. So um, this is, these are just some uh, honorable mentions right, right here. This was, oh, I should say, Joe loves, they love beer and cigars, because the theme of this contest was show your, your cigars and beer, and we had more entries this week than we've had in a long time, so apparently... Uh, dojo people love their beer, and we know they love cigars. So uh, this is A. James. As you can see, he's got the uh, cigar and beer store. Uh, this <laughs> is H.C.E. Uh, <clears throat> Bellos 11. He's got his uh, Articus Theory D. That's a great stick. It's one of my favorite Cubans. Um, and uh, this is John Walker. He's got a Alec Bradley Black Market and a Corona go in there with some looks like cards nice. he's playing. Uh, here's uh, South Dakota. Now, DeFord, you're going to appreciate this one because that's some good beer he's got there, right? Oh, that's that's very good. In fact, that uh, Blind Pig's probably one of my top five. Absolutely. Yeah, and he's got Pliny. Can't beat that. And have, Pliny. Have, have you tried uh, the, uh, the uh, Omen Gang? Um, Three Philosophers. That is one of the best beers I've ever <laughs> had. You're it's you're awesome. right on there, absolutely. Wow, what a great beer! Excellent. I have not had that, so I guess I also have to look <laughs> that one up. Put that on your list. It's it's epic. This is son of Don. Son of Don has a uh, keg. Looks like he's got a keg of beer going there. So those are some uh, those are some runner-ups. Here's the eight finalists. Okay, so you guys are going to be picking. Uh, Dean, you're going to be picking the first. You'll pick the top guy. And then to forward, I'll let you pick somebody other than what pick what uh, Dean picked, and then I'll post it for the dojo, and they can vote uh, for the uh, the next runner up. You guys ready? Sounds great. Do it. All right, here. We go. So this is Eddie Guzman, and uh, his the, this picture was titled "Black and Tan." That's pretty pretty <laughs> clever, right? That's, that's, that's black. That's Wallace and the that's tan. Uh, the Stinos, and then he has that crazy uh, Sam Adams. What are those called, DeFord? What's that beer? Oh, darn. It, yeah, it's their Sam Adams. Um, shoot. It's not coming to me right now. It's like a, the Utopius? most expensive beer it's ever. Called? Yeah, it's Utopias. Yeah. Utopia, that's Eddie. it. It's like thick uh, bourbon. So that's it. That's, yeah, that's Eddie. All right. So this is Max Rocket. He's got a kaleidoscope effect here. Very good. Very good. Beer and cigars. All right. Number three is uh, Powder Hound. Now, check this out. He's uh, photoshopped in a box. Winner. Oh, Winner. My goodness. Winner. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, right? What's he trying to say? All right. Number, yeah. No, number four. Number four is Simon. And uh, he's got Simon got a little artistic there. That's unlike Simon, but 
That's pretty that's cool. Nice. Bourbon County, that's a good beer right there. Yes. And it's dark, too. All right. This is uh, Techniques. And uh, she's got the uh, breakfast stout. You've had that beer, right, DeFord? Yes, that is. That's a wonderful, wonderful stout. Can't get it in California because the laws don't allow you to uh, sell an alcohol with a, you know, with a child on it. But oh. uh, so you can't buy it firsthand here. But it's a great beer. Interesting. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is uh, Gari, and uh, he's got some dogmas going. And some dojo, some uh, some dojo cards, and some Hogarten. I don't know how you say that. Hogarten. Yeah. All right. I think it's, yeah. This is the this is a Wisco Puffer, Wisconsin Puffer. Oh, beautiful! Ten fifty. That's ten fifty going. Right. And here. then we've got uh, Matthew Bray. That's a pretty cool shot right there. That is. Wow. That's nice. That's pretty cool shot. And then, so, okay, so there's the eight right there. So I'm going to let you look at those, uh, Dean, while I uh, multitask and post that those eight. Please vote. So you look at those while I'm doing this, and then I'll let you pick the winner in about two minutes here. Please no, vote on your favorite entries. All right. Those are all. By the way, Marco, if you're watching this and you have any questions for Dean or the board or me, please ask them and include the hashtag AskSensei. And then I'll have the uh, dojo crew that's here with me tonight pass me the question, and I'll pass it on if you have one for Dean. All right, here we go. Those are some good entries. We had probably, I don't know, we had a lot of entries this week. So like, like I said, uh, it was a good contest. People got into it. They love their beer. Yeah. It was a it was a good idea for a contest. Yeah, right. I mean, I guess it was right up their alley. Good work, guys. That's a fantastic idea. All right, so here we go. I'm posting that right now. Okay. All right, so Dean, do you think you have one in mind? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. DeFord, do you think you have one in mind? Absolutely. All right, well, let, let's let Dean pick first because he might have the same one you do, and then you'll have to pick again. All right, Dean, who is the grand prize winner this week that's going to win a whole bundle of Epic Maduro Reservas? We're going to go. I, I wanted to just quick uh, do an introduction. I, my, my buddy David Z here jumped in uh, on, on the set. I just wanted to introduce him to you guys. and. Okay. Uh, Good buddy of mine been smoking for many years, but uh, we're gonna go with uh, the Powder Hound. Powder Hound, yeah. Be epic. Be epic. Uh, of course. All right, Powder Hound. Great job. Congratulations. You love it because just one of these cigars is a ton of flavor. Just imagine what twenty of these things is. It's like a a whirlwind of flavor. Woo. So congratulations, Powder Hound. Uh, who's your friend again? I'm sorry, I missed his name. David Zinneman. Uh, David Z. He's here in the DR with me. Been smoking for many years. Has uh, company VIP Cigar Tours that he uh, does a little bit of work with here in, in the DR. That's uh, growing a little bit every year, and uh, he'll be with us in Vegas uh, representing uh, Epic Cigars uh, in our booth. And uh, say hello. Hey guys. Hey Dave. Welcome aboard. Hey, nice thank you. you a great Good show. show. You guys are. Uh... Hey, DeFord. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, we got a little. I apologize for the delay. It's a Dominican Republic there. It's a little bit of a delay, so we're doing our best. Yeah. Hey, DeFord. <laughs> so uh, he, he picked Powder Hound as the grand prize winner. Who do you pick as the next place to win these? Uh, I got to go with uh, Simon. That that black and white photo. A little bit of red. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll let the do whoever Bye. you guys uh, calculate who has the next amount of votes besides those two, we'll get the uh, we'll get the other uh, the other five pack of that. So congratulations to all the winners. Winners, uh, 
make sure you uh, email me your name and address so I can ship out your prizes. Uh, congratulations on that. Uh, thanks for picking that, DeFord. And uh, uh, by, by the time we end the show here, DeFord, uh, Give me an update on the two beers. What do you think? Uh, which one's better? We have the uh, Evil Twin, the Evil Twin, and the 1050. If you were going to run out and buy any, what would you buy and why? I got to go with 1050. I'm you a get big that, DeFord? 10 Can you hear me? Man. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, oh. It has a nose on it that is, it's a creamy, caramelly smell almost when you drink it. it. It adds so much to it, and it's a lot smoother than I Love You With My Stout. Now, the Evil Twin, that's got this wonderful smoky charcoal to it. It sounds bad, but it's, it's, it's really good. Like you said, the, maybe the teriyaki or something almost. But uh, I'm going with 1050 overall. 1050 is a winner. Absolutely. Yeah, I think I'd agree with you because for uh, me, as much as I love, I love the Evil Twin. It might be just a tad bit too syrupy sweet for me. Uh, I think the uh, the 1050 is a little bit more traditional stout, and uh, but they're both really really good. They're awesome. So hey, I got a couple questions uh, that came in for Dean. From the dojo community, and uh, so Dean, I'll ask these to you here. Yeah. This first one is from Techniques, and they ask, "Do you plan on producing Lanceros or Lonsdales uh, in in line, or are the larger ring gauges more what you want to produce for flavors?" No, we'll, we're we're definitely going to uh, going to introduce um, both uh, in the future. Uh, with the uh, Habano, we're, we actually have a uh, 46, 46 ring gauge by uh, five and a half, uh, which will be coming out in the, in the Habano, which is an awesome, awesome stick. Uh, in the Corojo, I already have a, I have a Lancero, limited production in the Lancero, and we'll see how that goes. If we, if the demand is there, we're definitely going to uh, probably bring that out in both the Corojo and the Maduro. It's, uh, you know, as being a new company, it's. Uh, you know, you, you kind of pick a few sizes and run with them, and depending on, on how they go, you can change them up or, or add to. So we'll see how things go this year in, in Vegas and how things go, uh, you know, towards the end of the year and, and make some decisions on, on that. But uh, appreciate the question, and, and the answer is yes for both. Very good. So, yeah, on the dojo, uh, lately uh, Lanceros have been real popular. People are getting into those. Uh, uh, I feel sort of semi-responsible for that. I like big ring gauges, but uh, I do prefer getting a little bit more of the uh, wrapper as pronounced flavor in the in the blend. So uh, they're popular. Okay, next question comes from John. He emailed me, and uh, he asks, your cigars are made in the Dominican Republic. Why did you choose to be there as opposed to somewhere like Nicaragua? Uh, you know what? Uh because, because you know, I've been coming here since 2005. Uh, I love this country, love the people, and, and I live here. You know, this is uh, a lot of guys. Uh, you know, are producing cigars from here, and and you know, they live in the U.S. and, and different places. A lot of guys are producing uh, Nicaragua, Honduras, and they live in the U.S. This is uh, this is my home. The factory is basically you know an hour away. I I live on the beach um, here, but uh, I'm in the factory every other day, if not every day. And uh, when I'm not traveling and promoting Epic, uh, I, I'm here. So uh, it allows me to, you know, have my eyes on production and be in the factory and quality control. And, and that's, uh, it's important. For sure, in the future, I see doing something in, uh, in probably both Nicaragua and Honduras. But, uh, you know, once the brand is built up. And, and keep in mind, you know, we're using, we're using Nicaraguan tobaccos in, in several of our blends. So, um the Dominican Republic is, is importing a lot of tobacco from all over the world. And uh, what's unique about this, this country is that um, they've been doing that for many years. Um, you know, really, you know, the Dominican Republic's been, been uh, kind of the cutting edge of, of blending cigars and, and, and tobaccos from all over the world for, for many, many years. And 
I think a lot, a lot of people don't realize that. So I, I don't think there's a better place to be than the Dominican Republic right now in, in, in producing cigars. And uh, being a boutique brand, you know, uh, I feel good about being from here. And, of course, there's, uh, there's lots of great brands coming from, from all the other countries. And uh, I smoke them all and, uh, and enjoy them. So uh, hats off to those guys. And, you know, hopefully look forward to doing, doing some things in, in Nicaragua and Honduras in the future. You know, uh, I think that's pretty much everybody's dream, what you just described. Uh, producing your own cigars and living on the beach in the Dominican Republic. I mean, it, it can't get much better than that. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's an epic lifestyle, you know. Uh, you get up every day to the sunrise and uh, get your run and get your exercise, have your coffee, uh, looking over the ocean. It's, it's pretty special, but... Uh, I'm very thankful, that's for sure, to, to be here and to be able to experience this. And uh, it uh, doesn't come without the sacrifices, but we're, uh, you know, we all have to make them. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I'm here. I have to, uh, I have to give a quick shout out to, uh, to Juan Cancel. Uh, ah. you know, obviously, he, he connected us, and he's connected many people with the dojo, and uh, one of the most passionate cigar cigar guys that I know. And, and really a, a good friend. We've become, you know, he's one of my closest friends, you know, in, in a very short period of time, you know, in the last year. And uh, just a super guy. And uh, the Cuban assassin, of course, is, uh, is always his, his right-hand man. Uh, just a shout-out to those guys. And, uh, and a yeah. shout-out to Ben. And he knows who he is, a New Yorker, you know, a hard-working, hard-working officer, and uh, a lot of time for those guys. New York has been, been really good to me. And... Uh, we're excited to do more things in New York and Pennsylvania and, and of course, Texas, California, U.S.-wide. So we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. I'll be waiting. Well, you know, you I also want to add, I want to add here in the DR, we don't have different. 10 minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Presidente. <laughs> Nicaragua and Honduras, their beers, yeah, not so great. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Well, while you guys live in the uh, cigar mecca of the world, uh, we happen to live in the beer mecca of the world in Colorado, sort of like the uh, craft beer haven here in California, because uh, this week being a beer and cigar week, uh, you guys are right there in the heart of cigars, and, and uh, me and DeFord are right in the middle of the uh, craft beer heaven of the world, right, DeFord? Absolutely. And we get the two of those together. We get the best of both worlds. No complaints at all. Well, we're looking forward to I'm going to be up exactly. that way um, with, for the Rocky Mountain Cigar Festival in August. We're excited. Epic Cigars is excited to be part of that uh, group and uh, part of that event. Really stoked uh, to get there uh, and uh, spend you know, that day and hopefully a few days around that time um, uh, just... Uh, Enjoying a lot of those beers and uh, and uh, having a chance to spend some time with you guys, so it's gonna be good. You know, we'll bring. I'll yeah, make sure make I sure bring some uh, ten fifty to Vegas. We'll get it for you. Awesome. Yeah, in fact, uh, the Ford will be Eric. in Vegas at the uh, the dojo party. So, uh, Dean, you'll be there, right? That July twentieth Sunday. I hope people from the dojo can make it, and uh, you'll get to meet Dean. And uh, so that'll be a blast. Hey, I got another question for you, Dean. This one comes from uh, this question comes from Pistol Pete, and Pistol Pete asked, "There's another cigar out there named Epic. Uh, that seems like a conflict. Would you like to comment on that?" Sure. sure. Um, you know, I, I think a lot, you know anybody in the industry is, is pretty familiar that you know in 2012, Monte Cristo came out with the, uh, the Monte Cristo Epic. I think they came out with a number two and a number seven blend, and you know at that time, you know I was finalizing and uh, our blends and, and doing some exciting things. So it was kind of caught caught me off guard, and um, but uh, fortunately, yeah, you know I, I trademarked I started the trademark process back in 2010 uh, for uh, Epic Cigars after you know uh, lending the dot com. So. Um, I dealt directly with Altidus. Uh, there were no lawyers involved, and uh, they signed a coexistence agreement with uh, with my company uh, that year. And uh, life has been great. Um, so, uh, really, we're not competing. They're they're a large company that's done amazing things worldwide, and uh, 
we're just a small boutique company uh, doing our thing and making great cigars. So I, I don't really think there's any confusion. Um, and if anything, it's, uh, it, it helps having that name on the market. So. Well, that's good. a good attitude from you. I, I, I like that, uh, once again, the cigar world shows that it can work together to work things out. That's encouraging, and there's not some sort of uh, crazy battle going on. So, so that's good. So, uh, all right, Dean, so the show's about over. I just want to thank you for coming on, and I appreciate your cigars. They're fantastic. I really encourage everybody on the dojo to get your hands on some. These are some, some really tasty sticks. Uh, and... I can't wait to meet up with you in Vegas and then in August in uh, Colorado. Eric, I, I uh, truly appreciate being here. I'm excited about this relationship. It's uh, it's new and exciting, and I know we're gonna have a lot of uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun together. Uh, you guys are gonna help build our brand, and hopefully, Epic can help uh, help uh, the dojo grow. Um, we've got. Uh, I'll just mention quickly if what? if you go to EpicCigar.com and then lost him. Oh, really? Oh, there we go. There you are. Your egg finish. Perfect. Okay. Sorry. Um, oh. If you go to epiccigars.com in the top right hand corner, it'll be uh, it's going to go live this week as a shopping cart, and so we've got lots of uh, great epic apparel, uh, three or four different shirts cool. that'll be available, and uh, this is one of them. It's a you deserve T-shirt, um, oh, and that's our, that's kind of our slogan. Is it good? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. You deserve a cigar worthy of your achievements. So we've got lots of exciting stuff, shirts, hats. Uh, we're working with the guys from Custom Ash in Canada uh, doing uh, ashtrays, stilettos, and lots of great stuff. So anybody looking for apparel, uh, they can just go to our website and go to the top right-hand corner and click uh, on the shopping cart for uh, the Epic Shopify um, website and uh, be able to purchase apparel and accessories. Uh, I'll be there right after the show. That looks a good-looking shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it, it won't be live nice. until next week. All right, uh, but, uh, Appreciate it. And we'll, we'll do some stuff yeah, no with doubt. Dojo. We'll, we'll get right. some apparel out to you guys as well, Eric, and uh, and we can do some, uh, you know, some, some promotions and uh, and contests with, uh, with, the, with our apparel and, and cigars as well in the near future. All right. Well, thanks, Dean. We'll catch up with you later, brother. All right. Take care. Have a great weekend. Hey, have Bye. a great day. All right. See you guys. All Thanks. Right. So, uh, DeFord, it's me and you, brother. We're going to finish off the show real quick. Yeah. Uh, I, got the, uh, dojo, I got the dojo staff over here calculating the, uh, the third winner. So, Powderhound was the grand prize winner. I want to thank uh, Dean Parsons for coming on the show, Epic Cigars. He's a cool dude. Uh, as you can see, actually living the life. He's there at the factory doing it. Uh, he's not here just, you know, as kind of a, a hollow company just getting cigars from somebody. He's there really making the stuff happen. He's, he's the real deal, and he's a really cool dude as well, so I want to thank him for that. Powderhound won the grand prize. Our good buddy DeFord right here, he picked Simon to be the second-place winner, and so I want to thank you for that, DeFord. I want to thank you for uh, co-hosting the show tonight. Oh yeah, it was a blast. And I gotta say one more time, this cigar, this thing is fabulous. I'm loving it. And I love your glasses. <laughs> yeah. I had to put those on so that I'd look cool like you. Nice. You look better, dude. You look beautiful. By the way, who's got their shirt? Yeah. We got Oh oh hey. Hold on. What's Whoa. that, huh? Oh, oh yeah. You gotta hey, DeFord, you gotta get these shirts, right? They're sweet. This yeah, is the dojo shirt. It's my smoking shirt every day now. All right. You can get those on the uh, dojo website, people. They're uh, super high-end quality shirts. they got a really cool blend that makes them not smell like smoke. And they just feel, I don't know, they just feel really cool, don't they? They have a really cool feel to them. they got a cigar pocket. Yeah. So you can order those on the dojo website. All right, do we have our other winner? Gari. Gari. All right, folks, the uh, third winner is Gari. Brother, you won a five-pack. I'm going to write that down, five-pack of Epic Cigars. Way to go. And uh, all right, that's it. DeFord, thanks again for being on the show, man. I really appreciate you co-hosting with me. I 
I, I, I love having somebody else be on with me. It's a lot more interesting than looking at me the whole time. Uh, it was a blast. I had a great time. Look forward to uh, Vegas. A month. In fact, yeah. it, it, today, today is what, the 9th, 20th? 20th. It's a month from today is the party, right? Yeah. yeah. A month from today. So, Dojo, make plans. Come join me and DeFord and everybody else, Eric Espinosa. The Moya Ruiz guys, speaking of the Moya Ruiz guys, next week is the Big Nunchuck release. That's Friday. So if you're on the email list for the cigars, That's I will email you the link to purchase at 11 a.m. Eastern next Friday. Then an hour later, I'll post the link on the Dojo app. And then an hour after that, at 1 p.m. Eastern, I'll post the link on the Dojo website. So if you really want a shot at those 100 boxes... You've got to be on that email list, and I think there's like 210 people on the list, but not everybody's going to buy. So make sure you get your name on that email list, and it's first come, first serve. I'll send that email out with the link, buy them, and when they're gone, they're gone that night, that Friday night, next Friday night, uh, the Moya Ruiz guys will be on this show live, and we'll talk about the day and the nunchuck, and I'll smoke a, a nunchuck live on the air. Uh, DeFord, I'll try to get you a, a nunchuck, too. Oh, well, you're going to have plenty of them in Vegas, but, uh, yeah. That's a cool cigar, right, with the hook together in the middle? It, it looks great. I actually had a, uh, what I had, a 601 La Bamba today. So I love all that stuff. It's great, great cigars. I've heard that the nunchuck is extremely strong. Oh, that's right up my alley. I'm yeah. going to enjoy that one then, I think. It's like 7 by 54 stick, and I've heard it's just will knock your your pants off if you're not really paying attention. So <laughs> Then Smokey will like them, huh? <laughs> yeah, Smokey will like them. Shout out to Smokey. There's got to be a Smokey mention on Smoke Night Live. So. Oh, yeah. How to do it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, I want to thank the board. I want to thank uh, the guys from Cigar Federation for uh, offering that cool deal. Go on there and buy that uh, Project 7. Sounds like a really good stick. And uh, signing off uh, for DeFord and everybody else, I will say remember to never smoke alone. Right on. <laughs>